teamed up to see the movie Bully. It's a powerful documentary about bullies and their victims. The district is hoping that those students who see the movie will become quote unquote change agents at their schools and then help to bring an end to bullying. And there are apparently a lot of things that schools can do right now to really shut down bullying in its tracks. A Stanford University study looking at schools using the Playworks Recess Initiative, and that adds structure to recess. And what's interesting about that study, I'll tell you, is that Playworks is not an anti-bullying program, yet the Playworks schools have significantly fewer incidences of bullying. That is interesting. I want you to say hi to Darlene Keon. She is with us today. She's the executive director of Playworks LA. Darlene, good of you to be with us. Thank you. I would think with, with recess, the first thing you want to do is cut it back and, and really stop the kids from going out there because that's when they get in trouble with the bullying. Well, I think that has been what has been happening across the nation is a lot of schools have either reduced the time of recess or taken it away altogether. Shut it down completely. Absolutely. Uh, Chicago hasn't had recess in 20 years. My goodness, but your initiative is entirely in 180 degrees. It's opposite. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that we find with anti-bullying programs is they, they teach you what not to do. What our program does is it teaches the kids what to do. And what do they do then? Well, we have a coach that is on the recess with the kids, mm -hmm. and the coach goes out to teach the kids how to be good team players. They teach them conflict resolution skills, they teach them the rules of the games, and then play with the, the kids. Well, let's say they're playing handball out there and it goes crazy and they start fighting and you know, they get out, it gets out of control. How do you control that? How do you shut that down? Well, one of the things that the kids learn really quickly is that it's more fun to play. And the way that we resolve conflict is rock, paper, scissors. Mm -hmm. It's a fun game. They all, they all know how to play it. One person loses, one person wins. They go to the back of the line and the game carries on. Well, you know the thing I like about that, the best thing as you describe it is, I think what we've lost along the way without recess is teaching the kids, the young kids, elementary school kids, those social skills. And this sounds like a way of at the early age trying to teach them how to talk and communicate. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was talking to a principal yesterday and what he was telling me is last year, the kids would be out on the recess, just meandering around, getting into trouble. They would have been otherwise good kids, but he was having over a hundred incidents mm -hmm. of, of violence on his playground last year. And this year with a Playworks coach, he's had zero. Look at that. So it really comes down to, I use the word discipline, and I don't mean it in a harsh way, but it's, it, you know, it is a structured recess. I mean, there's, the kids have sort of format they have to follow. Well, I think our goal is more to organize the recess. The coach has a map of the playground. The kids have choices. They, mm -hmm. It's all free play. It's all their choice of what they want to play. But they understand what the rules are. They understand how to play. But that really puts, and I'm not picking on the administrators, but if you're going to do that and buy into this program, the administrators really have to do their jobs. It's no looking the other way. You've got to be watching the kids and making sure they're structured. Well, I think right now what goes on is there's so many incidents on the recess that the administrators are spending all their time dealing with that. Dealing with the those kids problems, are in yeah. the office. They're yeah, phoning the point. parents. They're they're, they're disciplining the kids. Mm -hmm. When the kids have fun and they're playing, they're, those problems go away. And the, well, I was going to say one more thing before we let you go. You kept drawing a line when we were talking earlier about, you know, I, I, I thought maybe a grade school, but elementary school. You said you got to get them early. Elementary school, absolutely. Uh, one of the things we find is bullying starts in elementary school. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk a lot, especially with the movie Bullying, about it being in middle school and high school, but the kids in elementary school don't know how to deal with the bullies. And so there's a lot more problems there. All righty. Well, good luck. It's a good idea, darling. Thank Thanks you. again for coming in. All right, Jeff, to you. All right, Ed, thank you. A bill that would have banned...